So, Hot Air, uh, Wind Farms uh, group at the University of Illinois and the University at Albany did a very unusual study tracking the growth of some of the world's largest wind farms over a period of nine years. They did this by satellite. And what they found was as these wind farms grew, this was in central Texas, which has got more installed wind turbine capacity than just about any place in the United States. Um, that uh, as these wind farms grew from a few hundred turbines, uh, top towers, to almost 2,300, that gradually the ground surface temperature, um, the air temperature in the immediate vicinity of these wind farms, downwind, um, grew significantly. Significantly, in this case, is just about one degree Fahrenheit. Which sounds Point, small, but is, is measurable. Well, it is measurable, and it's enough uh, when you talk about kind of larger uh, global averages, that would be significant, but this is local. Um, it's interesting for two reasons. One, wind power, of course, it's a, a highly uh, favored form of alternative energy, considered completely green. Um, like everything, it turns out there's a trade-off. Right. And, um, and so this is an unintended consequence. Right now, these smaller, and I say smaller, this is a couple of hundred square miles worth of uh, wind turbines, uh, this is not really of uh, great consequence, but as wind energy becomes uh, more prevalent uh, in the uh, United States and in uh, Asia and in Europe, um, the acreage, the square miles, the square kilometers taken up by these facilities, of course, will get much larger. As they get much larger, this temperature differential, um, this warming, which is really just caused by these big turbines churning up the air. And bringing the warm air down Warm air night. that, you know, rises yeah. uh, and cool air that sinks. It gets mixed up like a milkshake in a blender and you have the warm air stays closer to ground. Uh, could affect uh, plant life, could affect uh, who knows what. But it's the first glimmer of evidence that researchers have had of this effect, quantifiable, measurable effect. And interesting because, of course, we think about renewable energy as in, in terms of sort of trying to stop climate change, to stop, you know, changing of temperatures. And, of course, this shows that there is an impact even from some of these green initiatives we, we may have. Right, but I really want to say no climate impact at this stage, not even sure there's a weather impact. What they have is a change in local temperature. In the local temperature, which could affect perhaps farming down the road, growth, plant life, growth there. Way down the road. Right. I mean, this is a, a, they know a first step uh, both for wind energy, but also for the scientists who are trying to study its consequences. And, and, all, and only at night, very quickly, only at night, that during the day they didn't measure a perceptible yeah. shift. Well, they, they measured a very tiny shift, but you know, during the day there's more mixing generally because uh, the air itself is warmer, so there's more turbulence. At night things calm down a little bit and this uh, right. parfait of air, if you like, is a little more stable and therefore more easily disrupted by the action of the rotors. But this is a very, very local, local effect so far.